Personal best in two rounds. Now, here we go. The 400 meters for girls, the semi finals. Yes. Trisan Gordon of Jamaica there. The world youth leading time of 51.62 seconds. Three semi finals coming up. And Trisan, well, she's due to be in the first one. Automatic qualification is first two. And then the next two fastest will head towards the girls' final, which is at 19.05 on Friday night. So here's your lineup for the first semi final of three. One lap of the track, quarter of a mile. And these eight athletes vying for a place in the final. Inside, Priyanka Mandel from India, just outside 56 seconds at her best. In lane number two, Christina Dudek of Croatia. Lining up in lane number three. Wiki Shervik from Poland. Second fastest qualifier and a personal best of 53.71. Wait for the crowd. Here's the French athlete, Brigitte Timoa of France. In lane five, this is the world number one, the world leader, Chris Ann Gordon from Jamaica. Qualified first yesterday as well. Outside of her, the athlete from the USA, Robin Reynolds. In lane number seven, a Russian, Anna Parfanova. Best time this year is indoors of 54.20 seconds and completing the lineup in lane eight, Lenenia Vitali from Italy. So, eight athletes, two automatic qualifying spots before the starter calls them properly. So, semi final number one of three in the girls' 400 meters. First two, and next two faster to advance to the final. Trisanne Gordon in lane number five from Jamaica. The pre race, the pre event, the pre championship favorite. So we're weighing cleanly. All eight athletes are up and running in this first semi-final of the girls' 400 meters. Not surprisingly, Chris Ann Gordon in lane number five from Jamaica already tracked down the American Reynolds outside of her. And he's already passing the Russian Parfanova as well, who lines up in lane number seven. Well, Chris Ann Gordon flying down the back straight, the Polish athlete. Wiki Shervik is having a go in lane number three as well. But can anybody hang on to the coattails of the young Jamaican? She's looking strong, she's looking good. She comes into the home straight, just over 38 seconds at 300 meters. She looks like she's in control to the Jamaican, maybe tiring slightly. And the American outside of her, Robin Reynolds. She's gonna come through for the second automatic qualifying spot. And the Polish athlete, Wiki Shavik in lane number three. Oh, she's going to wait and see what the other two semi finals do. But there is your winner, Chris Ann Gordon of Jamaica. So we have a new leader in the Orange well, Jump Final, this quick of China, who's in a first She did look in control. It'll be interesting to see the athletes in this youth age group how they cope with the three rounds. I talk from experience when I say 400 meter running is tough. For these young athletes may be a little bit tougher, but she looked good, she looked in control. And maybe one day looking to follow in the footsteps of the Olympic silver medalist Lorraine Graham from Jamaica. She pipped me to the silver medal in Sydney 2000. Myself and her finishing behind Kathy Freeman in that Olympic final. Well, Chris Ann Gordon will have Lorraine Graham as one of her heroes, no doubt. 52.79, the confirmed winning time then in the first semi-final. We have the second semi-final of the 400 metres for girls. There's quickly the results of the first semi-final. Chris Ann Gordon confirmed 52.79 in the qualification position. Robin Reynolds goes through to the final with 53.21. So, the eight women will be contesting the second semi-final. Want to look out for? Sean A. Miller in lane five from the Bahamas, second fastest woman in the world this year. Raffaella Lukudu from Italy. 56-16. Needs don't have to raise the game quite considerably. Blanca Kerry from Hungary. 
partnered with the outsiders in terms of her lane position. Naruka Uakwe. One of the heat winners from yesterday, Romania's Bianca Rassor. Best of 52-56 in qualification. Shawnee Miller from the Bahamas there. Perhaps the favourite for this semi-final. Next fall, American Kendall Bysden. She could very well be in contention for a place in the final. Slovenia's Anya Benko. 55 -58. And there, out in lane eight, Modesta Morelskaite from Lithuania. Another woman who's going to have a lot to do if she's going to make the final. Just remind you of the qualification. Skyte from Lithuania on the outside. Taking her time getting into her blocks. Well, Miller away very quickly there. So too is Rizor, lanes four and five. Bysden in lane six looking good as well. But it's Okwakwe who's also had a very, very good start. She's also coming up very quickly. So it's Okwakwe at this moment. Rizor and Miller looking very good indeed. Well, Rizor's just had, gone through a difficult patch there over the middle part of the race. Bison and... Miller now starting to edge in front and Miller really starting to motor now coming off the bend with 150 meters to go very good 50 meters there picked up on Bysden now coming into the home straight it's Miller clearly in front there Bysden, Rizor, Okwakwe fighting it out for the second place but Miller's got enough time to look around just check that she's comfortable in first coming through for second, the American runner Kendall Barnsley. Dominating performance from 200 metres out there by Shawnee Miller. Riser ran a very erratic race. She started well, seemed to drift back, and then picked it up again. Here we see Shawnee Miller from the Bahamas. 80 metres out. She's well clear. She's got a metre on Bysden. Eisden seemingly struggling, looking very, very ragged, but she just manages to hold off the challenge of Bianca Rysor, who's finishing very quickly after a sticky patch in the middle part of the race. Maybe just got her race plan just a little bit wrong. Here we can see what a comfortable finish there from Miller. Breathing just a little bit hard, but looking so relaxed, so elegant. There we have it. Shawnee Miller wins for the Bahamas, 52-92. Acid expression, that's a great throw, gets her up into the silver medal position. And there's the result from the second semi-final of the 400 metres for girls. Shawnee Miller confirmed 52-92. Kendall Bysden, automatic qualifier, 53-32. Bianca Resor, 53-51. We'll have to wait to see whether she gets through to the final. Here's the lineup then for the third and final semi-final in this girl's 400 metres. A good spread of athletes once again. Record number of countries here at these, the seventh edition of these World Youth Championships in Lille. And here in lane number one in this semi-final, representing the Ukraine, Katarina Klimyuk. In lane number two, from Slovenia, Dorotia Rebenik. And she'll be next to the Canadian athlete, the world number four this year. Well, Chris Brennan. She lines up in the third lane. In lane four, Olivia James from Jamaica. The sixth fastest athlete over this distance in 2011. Ellen Razanen from Finland. In lane number six, joining us from Nigeria in this semi-final. Rita Osai. In lane number seven from Poland, Blanka Kuta. And on the outside lane, 
In this final semi-final from Spain, Barbara Camblor. So, there's your lineup for the third and final semi-final. In this girl's 400 metres. Chris Brennan from Canada there. Entertaining the cameraman. She bounces up and down. Nice lane draw, lane number three for the world number four. 52.49 seconds in 2011. She is the fastest athlete in the field. So away, a clean start in the final semi-final of this girl's 400 metres. A fast start being made by Brennan of Canada in lane number three. Herself and James of Jamaica already taking ground out of Razanen of Finland. The Nigerian athlete Osai as well is going well in lane number six. But the lead is going to be Brennan's in lane three as they go through the 200 metres. Now 25 seconds. There's a good shot of the upright technique, the open hand technique of the Canadian athlete. Now the Jamaican Olivia James is holding on to her in lane number four as the athletes sweep round into the home straight. Will it be Chris Brennan of Canada who's going to hold on to be the final winner in the semi final of the girls' 400? She grimaces slightly. But the Canadian's going to take this. The clock stops at 53.16. And the second automatic qualifying place does go to Olivia James. And that was some good running there by both of those athletes. So we'll wait, wait for confirmation of the times. She was in control. She started blowing slightly here, as you can see, with about 50 metres to go. The Finnish athlete Razanen on the outside of James. Trying to keep herself in contention for one of those fastest loser places. And it is going to be close. The current fastest loser spot is being held by Rezor from Romania in a time of 53.51. And Wiki Shavik of Poland also is hanging on for that final spot, wearing 53.97, but 53.15. That's all Chris Brennan's worried about. That's the winning time for the third semi-final. And there's confirmation of that result. Win for Brennan from Canada, 53.15. Olivia James from Jamaica, 53.51. We'll bring you confirmation of the two fastest qualifiers, but it looks like it possibly could. She doesn't make an improvement on her 12th place position. Right, just to confirm the standings there for the girls 400 metres and the qualifiers for the final. As you can see, they are topped by Chris Ann Gordon from Jamaica, 52.79. The two women, as Catherine rightly predicted, Bianca Razor from Romania, Ella Rasinen from Finland, they go through as the two quickest non automatic qualifiers, brewing up to be a wonderful race there between Gordon and Miller from the Bahamas.